Hi, second grade. So in our last lesson, you learned about identifying some of the natural resources from 1700 or just before 1700 when New York City is just becoming a city. And now we're gonna go a little bit further and look at a few photographs and talk about how the natural resources changed. So let's look at this picture. What natural resources do you see here? What can we, what can we find? Aha, uh -huh. so I see a wooden cabin and it's using tree logs. And here's a forest. So that natural resource would be wood or trees. I see a barrel again, just like the barrel that we saw in the seal. So I'm gonna say that that's flour coming from plants, wheat. Then over here, I see that they've been hunting. So I'm gonna say that still in the 1800s, that they're beaver and animals that they're using for their natural resources. This is what I can get as I infer some of my prior knowledge and also just from looking and analyzing and looking at this picture. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, so now we're in the 1900s. We're 100 years later and we're looking and the city is getting more and more people and they're inventing all different kinds of machines that can make more things out of the natural resources. So let's see, let's look at this and try to think about some of the other natural resources that they're using now. And look at these buildings. They're much more taller and more detailed than those little wooden cabins that we saw 100 years ago. Okay, so what I notice here is the front of the building is using stone. So they're inventing machines that can make these kinds of raw stones into smooth stone that can go on the outside of a building. And here, also on the outside of a lot of buildings, is wood or trees, but they've also invented more machines that make the wood smooth and easier to build with. And here, look at all this metal for the train, the train cars, the wheels. That's steel made out of iron, which is a mineral that has to be mined. So this one is not a renewable resource. This is a non-renewable resource. And you saw in the video about the people that worked on the skyscrapers, the roughnecks. And this is happening at about this time. All the skyscrapers are going up in New York City. Let's see, what do you think the natural resources are that we use today? What do you think? Here we are, a hundred years after that next picture that we just saw. Well, I notice that there's still lots of steel and iron needed to build these tall modern buildings. So that's the same. But there's a lot of glass in the modern buildings. So I'm also going to say that there's sand used as a natural resource because sand heated up makes glass. And then there's lots of walls and courtyards and sidewalks. And those are also made from stone. So some of the natural resources we're still using today are ones that we used before. So let's review all of this on our timeline. So here's Manhattan now. All of its big modern buildings. And remember, here is Manhattan 400 and more plus years ago. Okay. Then we had the town of New Amsterdam 350 years ago, right? Now it's New York about 150 years ago. 
starting to get more people. You can see here, there's some tall ships, smaller boats here, not too many boats here, maybe some canoes. And here are many, 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 many more boats on. Look at this all the way up here on the Hudson River. Lots more people and buildings. And now it takes us to 100 years ago in the 1920s. Well, now the buildings are getting taller because they've invented machines that can help them make steel beams, and glass and wood and all different kinds of things that help them build these really tall skyscrapers and lots more boats and ferries here. So let's review the natural resources. So 400 years ago, tell about 150 years ago, 200 years ago, it's mostly wood, animals, and plants for food, flower, beaver pelts. Then about 100 years ago, 150, 100 years ago, they started using stone also, still wood, still plants, still animals, stone now, and iron because they have machines that can make steel beams and steel. And even though they did have glass, Back at this time, now a lot of the modern buildings have glass almost for walls. So I put that up here because as the buildings get more and more modern, the more and more glass they use for their buildings. All right, I hope that lets you see how the city is growing over time as more and more people move to New York City, but as they also learn how to build and make things using natural resources.